What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and today I'm back with another final edition pack opening. This time we have a 99 overall Muhammad Wilkerson, a complete beast. I love Muhammad Wilkerson cards every single year and this year is no different. I used his team of the year card forever, even when it was, was not one of the best left ends. I still use him because he just plays so well. Now this card is going to be a monster. I don't know if I'll get him on my team, just I honestly don't play mu that much anymore, at least in terms of playing it. You know, I still open packs, I still do stuff like that. I still play solos every once in a while, but in terms of like online and stuff like that, haven't really played a lot recently, just because the game's kind of winding down. I've been playing MLB a lot more, but I still love to see the new cards that come out and still like to, uh, you know, speculate on how I could use them if I were to pick them up now. First up, Roosevelt Knicks, uh, fullback, I guess, for the uh, Steelers. Paul Kruger, who was in my top five bronze episode. I'm going to get the next top five out very, very soon. Been pretty busy lately. wanted to mention that also. Uh, that's why, you know, some of the videos may be, uh, you know, similar or whatever. You know, a lot of Red Sox franchise, a lot of Diamond Dynasty and stuff like that. And uh, a little bit less on terms of the uh, top five just because they take so long to make. But I'm going to get one out very soon. Now, Everson Griffin as well. Randall Cobb, pretty cool. And then Tyler Eiffel. Let's just see what this Tyler Eiffel's going for. The most expensive one. Usually goes for a lot. Yep. Going for 140,000 coins. Car looks actually really cool. The uh, little arm brace he has there looks pretty sick. 91 speed. Wow. 99 spec catch. 96 catch and traffic. Very good. And, uh, you know, should be a fun card to use if you can get him now. Uh, those five cards, along with the collectible from the Solo Challenge, just give you that Muhammad Wilkerson, which we'll take a look at uh, in just a sec here. You, uh, you also get 5,000 coins for doing the set as well. Now, is it worth doing the set? You know, maybe. I don't know. If you pull, like, uh, you know, Tyler Eifert or something like that, if I were you, I'd probably just sell him. Now, if you want Muhammad Wilkerson, maybe you go for uh, the set done, but I don't know. That's just up to you. He's going for 346,000 coins right now, 66 salary cap value. And he looks like a monster. 85 speed. That could be a lot better. There is a lot better uh, speed coming off the edge, especially if you use a linebacker off the edge. But still, it's going to be good enough along with the 92 excel. Gives you 100 tackle, 102 block shed, 101 power move. You really can't beat those stats. And then 92 player. Very, you know, very, very good card. I was about to say very extremely good card. It would have made no sense. But a uh, cool card. And Muhammad Wilkerson, like I mentioned, is one of my favorite players uh, to use in Mutt, at least, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So without further ado, let's get into the packs, see what we can get. Hopefully something good. We got Campus Hero packs in the game today. If you guys didn't see that, uh, Campus Hero packs give you one Campus Hero gold or better player, one Campus Hero collectible, and six gold or better players, along with four team items. Bundle Topper today gives you six Rookie of the Year items. So to me, that's not that great. But uh, you know, if you open a bundle up, let me know what you get. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably saving your money from Mutt 17, as I've recommended in pretty much the last like months worth of videos. Pretty much just said, you know, spend up your coins, you know, get rid of that stuff, but don't really bother spending much money at this point in the game. Uh, obviously, if you want to, go ahead, but I personally just don't think it's that useful since, you know, this game is pretty much on the, uh, you know, out. So, um, you know, no big deal. Uh, if you guys want to open packs with money, that's fine, but uh, I'm sure you guys are in agreement with me that it'd probably be better spent in Mod 17 in a couple months, which should be a lot of fun. They're releasing a lot of new info on uh, Madden 17. New equipment uh, blog came out today. That was pretty cool to read through. Not, you know, the most exciting news ever, but still pretty cool. Obviously, EA Play was a couple weeks back, so that was fun to see what came out of that as well. And uh, you never really know what you're going to get with Madden. I mean, it's obviously going to be very similar each year, but they always try to revamp at least, like, one part of the uh, game, and hopefully... This year, it's actually a little bit more balanced because this year it seemed like a little bit too far in the favor of the offense. I think a lot of you guys could agree with that. Now, uh, whatever. Don't want to talk too much about Madden. We'll get back into the packs. Got a couple more pro packs, and I think I'm going to open one Campus Hero Elite pack or Campus Hero pack or whatever they're called and just see what we can get. You never know. Uh, you know, you got to roll the dice a little bit, and you guys have known for a while now. I've been opening a ton of the promo packs with coins. Oh, hey, here we go. You got Clive Wofford, all rookie player. Pretty cool. But I've, opened, I've been opening a ton of the, uh, you know, promo packs and stuff like that with coins just because I have so many coins and I want to get rid of them. I'm going to be doing some giveaways if you guys want, but uh, I've noticed that in general a lot of people on Twitter not really playing Madden too much. If you guys are watching this video right now, if you watched it this far, that's pretty cool already. But if you're watching it right now, let me know if you still play Madden and if you still play it a lot. Now, for me, it's definitely, you know, my secondary game at this point. I play MLB a lot more than Madden, but I still do play from time to time. And, uh, you know, like I said, I do enjoy hopping on for pack openings and stuff like that. But in terms of gameplay, I definitely play a lot less than I would have uh, just even, you know, three, four months back or whatever. But uh, I think we're going to end it out here. Campus Hero Pack. What are we going to get in this one? Can we get something good? Give me some fire right here. Campus Hero Pack. We get one Campus Hero. Hey, got a Jeff Allen Movers card, 95 overall from the Texans. Very nice pull there. We'll check out his stats in just a sec. Also get an Aaron Henderson. Sterling Moore, former Cowboy. D'Amico Ryan's got a Campus Hero patch, which I'm pretty sure does not sell for anything. 
and that is it. So pretty much the only elite pull right here was Jeff Allen. Cool card though, 95 strength, 98 run block, 85 pass block, Ooh, that's not very good, but 95 impact is cool, and also 77 speed, that's pretty legit, especially for a big guy like Jeff Allen. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below, and like I said, let me know if you still play Mutt and uh, how much you play it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.